Real quick, I feel like I need to a address the Eric Armstead thing real quick. Uh, let me just say real quick, and you guys can say if, if you think I'm wrong or right. Um, I've been really upset, not upset, but like frustrated with the Niners' inability to keep mobile quarterbacks in the pocket. And it's like they lost to two teams this year, the Cardinals and Eagles, who have nothing going for them on offense other than a quarterback scrambling around. And when I went back and watched the tape of Carson Wentz scrambling around consistently, it was Eric Armstead giving up contain. Not Kerry Hyder, not Javon Kinlaw, not Deion Jordan, not Ziggy Yansa, the not number 91, the highest paid guy on the D-line. And I put five clips together, I put it out, and I showed it. And Eric Armstead just tweeted at me and said basically that I nitpicked five plays and he plays a lot. And who am I? Have I ever played football? Who am I to analyze football? No, I've never played football. And who am I to analyze football? I don't know. That's up to you. But the thing is, you watch those clips for yourself and you tell me if I'm making too big of a deal out of this and if it's not really Eric Armstead's fault. And after that, what I'd like to say directly to you, Eric, Eric, I'm not your problem. What you need to do is keep Carson Wentz in the pocket. If you do that, I won't criticize you. If you don't, I'll criticize you every time because that's how it goes in the NFL. And if you want to talk to me about it, you know where to find me. Does anyone else have anything to say about Eric Armstead before we want to move on? I just don't understand why he's taking the time to tweet your name out there. And two, teams two and two, they should be focused right now. And the fact that he's spending his downtime not studying for the, for the Dolphins or just clearing his own mind, he is coming at you. And it's the same. Like, honestly, you don't have to play. I've played since I was five years old through college. You don't not, do not have to play to understand football. If you understand the game, you understand the game. So, are we going to discredit his own females that on his on his coaching staff? Like, does he feel that way about her because she never took a snap in the NFL? Good so point. It, it it's just ridiculous, is how I see it. Jack, real quick, you were a coach. I mean, this is the football culture. On Monday, you come in and watch film, and the coaches don't pull punches. This is the kind of thing, as a player, you kind of have to take, that type of criticism. It's not character assassination. It's just critiques. You move on. You play the next game. I mean, if he can't take it from me, does that mean he can't take it from his coaches or he's not getting it from his coaches? What is that? I think he's getting it from the coaches when he is making mistakes. I think he's taking it from there. Okay. He just doesn't want to take it from six foot, 185, pimple face Grant Cohn. Hey, I wouldn't want to take it from me either. And I don't Fair think enough. It, and it's not just you. You see, you see guys yeah. do this all the time. Whether it's a player or a coach, they get out yeah. there and they talk about that. You know, you, you see it with with that. You see it with the, the PFF grades, all those kind of things. So it's True. not just it's not just this one isolated incident. Okay. So final thing I want to say is, Eric, we're even. I, I pointed. I, I called you out. You called me out. I'm done. I, I I don't take it personally. If you want to say that I'm not qualified to analyze football, fair enough. I'm not going to hey. argue with you. As your boy uh, Vish pointed out, you have a faster forty. I do have a faster for you. He can come see me. That translates. Are you going to respond to Eric Armstead? I just did. Not on Twitter. I figure we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're enough. I don't, I don't need to get in an argument with him. Yeah. I made my point. I figure he didn't. Look, my point was he played five plays wrong. His point was I suck. Okay? So I think I won the argument. His, he did what we call in school an ad hominem argument, which doesn't further your cause. So sure, I agree. I suck. But the fact of the matter is I wasn't the one who let Carson Wentz out of the pocket. That was him. So unless he can find some other film that proves me wrong, I'm going to stick with what I said and just smile. You know, yeah. Yeah. I feel pretty uh, confident about my position. Apparently you got to play in the NFL now to write columns. Hey, no. tell him, tell him to give me a contract. Let me get it. Let me get a workout. Let me just run a 40 and lift some weights and they can they can make they can make the we put the ball in their court